Hej alle sammen og velkommen til en ny episode av The State Tree Project Podcast. I dag har jeg en eh, veldig annerledes episode til dere. Det er en episode på engelsk der jeg intervjuer en jente som heter Maggie. Jeg traff Maggie for eh, er det vel litt over et års tid siden når jeg var på reise i USA. På en plass som heter Tree of Life som er et eh, vegansk eh, spirituelt retreat center. Ganske heftig. Um, Maggie, hun har varit veganer i mange år Og er nå råveganer Det vil si at hun spiser kun vegan Altså ingen animalske produkter Og alt er rått um, Og litt av stilen som de kjørte på det her senteret var på det, det var det at de spiste low carb Så de spiste heller ikke karbohydrater Så de spiste frukt Nej, de spiste ikke frukt De spiste grønnsaker Og nötter och rötter det var i huvudsak det de spiste. Och det var många som levde på det här i årsvis folk där så ut var väldigt sunda och friska de. men det som var skillnaden där var det att de fastade väldigt mycket. Och de de fastade för det mesta på en sån speciell grön juice de lagde, som egentligen var lagad huvudsakligt av av gurk, selleri och olika typer spirer. Vetegrasspirer, ärtespirer, broccolispirer, plus plus. Men Maggie, hur hade fasta väldigt mycket med bara vatten? Och det är det jag kommer att snakka ner om i podcasten. Hur hade flera fasta på över 20 dagar med bara vatten? Det hörs helt utroligt. Jag skulle inte tro att det här var I det var det möjligt att genomföra så vi här vi här uppe i Norge vi har inte hört om det här en gång men det är faktiskt ganska utbrett och det är det är ett miljö för det här i Norge faktiskt. Ehm um, jättespännande prat med på engelsk så det är inte bara bara att och prata engelsk på verken på film eller sån i sig själv så du får bara hålla ut det är lite sån klejt och svårt men jag tycker det är jäkligt mycket kul information här. Og vi er inne på mange ganske sprø emner. Så gjerne still spørsmål hvis det er noe dere lurer på med det her. Jeg var der i tre måneder og levde den her livsstilen. Jeg gikk ned 15-20 kilo. Det, ved å leve på den måten her, det var, det var drite for en kjempeopplevelse. Jeg satt og mediterte hver eneste dag. Det er noe jeg faktisk har tatt om meg ut enda. Men der nede var det... Det var, det var heftig på mange, på mange måter. Så... Följ med. Det här blir spännande. We're on, we're on. Okay, hi guys. New episode of the Stay True Project. I got Maggie with me here at the Tree of Life. What kind of project? It's my Stay True Project. I okay. call it that's my that's my that's my name of the YouTube channel. The Straight Stay True Project I call it. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll subscribe. Cool. Yeah, we need subscribers. I know, me yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, because we're going to talk about fasting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you, you've been fasting. And I remember you asked Gabriel the question about the spiritual fasting. And he supported that. And that's... Uh, and you said you were going to ask like the same question, yeah. which was interesting. It was really interesting. I was sitting thinking about it. And it was really cool when you when you mentioned it and, and asked him about the fasting for spiritual reasons. For me, my fasting has all been for physical, yeah. really physical reasons because I was so sick and um, somewhere in my middle 30s. Do I should I talk to this or talk to you? you can talk to what, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So somewhere in my middle 30s, I started meditating and uh, reading a lot of spiritual books. And of course, fasting is brought up in a lot of spiritual books, but yeah. I also read books by different MDs, including that one over there, yeah. Fasting and Eating for Health. You can show it to the people, yeah, to everyone, that's... because you got me into this book. <laughs> Dr. Joel Furman. Yeah, we can talk about that later. Okay. I want to hear more about, uh, but more about you first. I I did a 10-day juice fast. Yeah. That was my very first. And Green juice? Or... No, it wasn't. It was the Master Cleanser. Are you familiar oh, with that no, one? No, I don't know. That's sure. fresh lemon juice. Maple syrup and cayenne pepper. It's been oh, around yeah, forever. Yeah, yeah I've, I've done it, but I didn't know it had a name. It has so, a name, the yeah. Master Cleanser. Mm. So I, I did it for 10 days. But my detox, because I was so, I had 
endometriosis yeah. and I had ovarian cysts and I was so backed up. My body wasn't eliminating properly. Yeah. I was so swollen and bloated Oh, I, that I got really sick. I had a how, fever. Yeah. How was the diet before you started that fast? Um, uh, it wasn't standard American diet in the fact that I didn't eat, pro I didn't eat fast food or uh, restaurant food, yes. But I did eat meat, coffee, sugar. I mean, it was high acid. Yeah. Uh, a lot of fruits because I'm sweet tooth. Not nearly the vegetables that I eat now. Okay, okay. Um, so not horrible, but it wasn't good. No. Uh, no, and my stress level was high because I felt miserable. Yeah. So you you feel miserable. Your stress level is high. That makes you feel worse. Then you you know your stress level goes up because you feel it's like a vicious cycle. It it is it is. Acidic thoughts makes us an acidic body, yeah. kind of, and yes. it, it it all adds to the big pot of, uh, yeah, whatever you want to call it. So you went went on a ten day juice fast. I did the ten day juice fast. It was miserable, but and I I really should have gone along a yeah. lot longer. But ten days, I could feel a shift. There was a shift there, and then I just wanted to learn more about fasting because I really felt water fasting would speed up that detoxification process even though that can be hard yeah like a lot of people say just go slow don't make it go fast but i was so miserable i just wanted to i rather suffer all at once and get the bulk of it over with and right, right, a little right. at a time forever <laughs> i felt like yeah so then i did i did five days on water i read that book fasting and eating for health covered cover and my partner was gone. He was visiting some family. And so I, I had the house to myself and I just took time off work and did five days on water. And it was really hard. Yeah. I, um, not only was I ravenously hungry the whole time, basically, which a lot of the fasting books you read, they say you're not hungry after yeah. three days. Well, I only want five days, but I was hungry. I was starving. <laughs> I felt like I was dying. And then I couldn't sleep and my kidney adrenal area and my whole pelvic cavity which is aching ache the pain and then now you don't want to take painkillers because yeah, you're course. fasting yeah. and that's more toxic did you ask a doctor before you started no no you just went for it mm -hmm. wow yeah that's yes not doctor recommended they wow. always say you need doctor supervision yeah they say about two days you can do without the supervision of a doctor yes but two days that's like uh, then you don't even have gotten into ketosis so it's not really it haven't even started two days it, then it, it starts like it's like in the book they say it starts like day two for girls and maybe day three for men that's mm -hmm. when it's really starts to speeding up the detox detoxification process and yeah yeah the ketosis is, is yeah. key and now they're doing more research with the effects of because the b brain uses glucose as fuel that's all yeah. it uses as fuel except when you're fasting there is no glucose so it uses ketones as fuel and they're finding that ketones in the brain are like brain superfood Whoa. Oh, yeah. I was not <laughs> expecting that. Oh, come on. My iPad is ringing. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Because it comes through yeah. my phone. Yeah. You're going to have to edit this. Yeah, all that's out. no problem. It's okay. That's the way it is. Yeah. It is the way it yeah. is. But um, anyway, they're Alzheimer's and dementia. They're yeah. responding to, to, to the ketones. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and so of course pharmaceutical companies are finding, trying to find a drug that yeah. reproduces Ket the effect. Ketone drug, the, ke the, the perfect, ketone the perfect drug. Ketone Instead drug, of just yeah. stop eating for, I mean, <laughs> pretty much almost anyone can take a break from eating. Yeah, you know, there's very few people who are so thin or their health yeah. is so jeopardized they can't yeah. stop it's, eating for a while. That diabetes, people should not do the water fast. They get they they need, they need supervision for yeah, sure. Yeah, they need some extra. But I I. I I think I heard about places they, they they do that also the fast uh, diabetes patients. And I I'm, I'm not sure. There's that clinic in Santa Rosa, California called True North, and they supervise water fast. And I don't know if they work with diabetics or not. Uh, maybe it's there the the place. Okay. One That's, of the links I, I got for you. That, yeah, Doctor I mean, Goldhammer yeah, and Doctor McDougall work yeah. out of there. Yeah. yeah. Check them out. Then you got a lot of good information on fasting. Yeah. Yeah. And, it? and and so no, <laughs> is okay. that it? That's it. Okay, hot. <laughs> no, and and so you, and then more more stuff happened because you did longer fast. Yes, I did. Yeah. So I did five days. It was 
But that I, was a horrible experience. How it was you, horrible, yeah. but I felt better. I mean, oh, with each fast, yeah. I had relief in my chronic pain yeah. in the pelvic area. And I had um, less edema in my joints. I had a lot of edema in my hands and my face was really puffy. Yeah. So with each fast, I was feeling better. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm on to something. This is working. And mm. I was changing my diet too. I was becoming more and more just whole foods and eventually more and more raw. Uh, that It took a while before I... I was yeah. pretty high raw. Yeah. The edema, can you talk a little bit about more about that? I'm, I'm sure it's a good Norwegian word for it, but... Um... Mm. It's water retention, basically. Yeah. So I would wake up in the morning and my eyes would be so puffy, really puffy. And my hands, I could hardly make a fist with my hands. It'd be really swollen. And I felt, I felt swollen all over my yeah. body. Like I was, my skin was stretched because I had so much extra fluid everywhere. Yeah, right. But it was... It was one of those things that if I went to a doctor and said, I feel like, you know, I, I'm just not well, they yeah. would give me every test and it would have shown I'm fine. Yeah, Nothing right. was going to show up on a test. Yeah. But it's like, fix me. Well, what are they going to do? They say it's in your head. It wasn't in my head. I'm really <laughs> sick. <laughs> and then, you know, they did. They, I, they, I did have ovarian cysts. So yeah. then they saw the cysts. Well, you have endometriosis. Let's give you a hysterectomy. Let's take is, it all out. Yeah, they that's when they take operate. the uterus. Oh, they want to wow. operate. They, yeah, and then you take hormones for yeah. the rest of your life. Yeah, that that yeah, that's the thing they don't say that you have to be on hormones the rest of your that's life when you life. when you take that stuff out of your body. Yeah, so. I mean it's such a easy. It's so easy for them to say we're going to take your ovaries out and your uterus. I mean, can you imagine a doctor saying we're going to castrate you? Oh man. I mean. That, it is. They, it is they're bad. taking your bad. testicles. They're taking yeah. your ovaries. Ah, not good. Oh wait, oh wait. No, and that's the cool thing with the the experience you're having here at the Tree of Life. That we, we, you have a lot of experience with this from from beforehand. But for people that are new here, that they see it's mm -hmm. it's ways to, to treat almost anything mm -hmm. without medications. You treat the food. The food is your medicine. And the food is your medicine. That's yes. so cool. And the body, I mean, the body has the intelligence built into the machinery to self-repair. Yeah. And what other, what else is, there's no machine that self-repairs. I wish my computer self-repaired. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, when you eliminate the eating, because what did they say? 60 to 80% of our energy goes into digestion and elimination. So when you just rest and stop eating, your body can be like, finally, it can address some of those yeah. underlying issues that have been really plaguing you absolutely and never never was able to get to yeah and that that's kind of your new new, new project to fast for spiritual reasons very the, much so because i feel like my body's clean enough now that i won't have those horrible de detoxes yeah i mean you know it took me a long time to build up um you know i did the five day then i did an eight day then i did a 10 day yeah and this has been all over 10 years and then i've done several 14 days then I did a 21 day. Yeah. That one, for whatever reason, I think I was really pretty level headed and I felt pretty good physically through that fast. So there was a little bit of a spiritual component. I just yeah. played with it. I was feeling so clear, like such a clear conduit for spirit that I thought, oh, wow, this would be very intense to really go at it from that yeah. angle. And then that, then I did that twenty-four day that it's on YouTube. Yeah, right. That was all physical again. Yeah. It was miserable. <laughs> it was horrible. So each one was different. Yeah. You know that I had. It's like you peeling the onion. Yeah, right. You, you think layer you're getting. Layer. You think then, but there's still gunk stored yeah. in there, stockpile that the body so, didn't get out. So did you? Was it kind of a new, a new theme for each fast? Okay, now we can now we can feel. Now it's in my stomach. Now it's like more physical. Now you can feel where in your body stuff is going on. Where it's working. Yeah. And I have shoulder issues in this shoulder from holding my arm elevated yeah. at work all the time. And I have a, a big hair dryer, you know, yeah. like a hairstylist for so many years. And this shoulder within two days on fasting just starts to ache incredibly. Yeah. And I know that it's, 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 you know, literally yeah. metabolizing some of that calcification That's in there. The same stuff happening with me here, you know? That my shoulder is hurting so much more than it's ever done before. It's getting worked. It's your body's yeah. working on yeah. it. It's doing something to it. It's 
cool stuff. I like it. It's but cool, it's but it, it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, when I fast, like my ovaries hurt, they ache. And all I can think of is those cysts are getting, yeah. they're getting reabsorbed. They're getting worked on. Yeah. Getting a good massage. Yeah. They, yeah. And then it does hurt. It hurts like a toothache, like oh, deep toothache oh, wow. in your body. And you're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> <That's horrible. laughs> it's miserable. But it helped. And I know in that book, Fasting and Eating for Health, he talks about uh, fibroid tumors, yeah. uterine fibroid tumors, and how they respond to a, a water fast. They shrink tremendously, like almost half in 14 days. Wow, yeah. And considering that women have surgery on them and they come back again. Yeah, right. It's like uh, maybe fasting really, and fasting and then lifelong dietary changes. Yeah. You can't go back to the old way. No, because you, you've been... Uh, you've been um, a vegan and eating raw for a, for a long time, kind of. I've been working on this, and the diet part of it really seriously, maybe for five years. Yeah. Um, but I'm also not 100%. I'm not strict. I nope. love bread. You know, I have my weaknesses. Yeah, and yeah. And sometimes yeah. I just eat it and pay the price, you know. Yeah. And Do you, you feel you, you pay the price? How much can you say? How much... How much can you cheat? How much can you cheat to when you follow this diet to not like crash and, and go back? Because it's a if you start cheating, you start cheating more and more and more and then you yeah. can crash. But how much can you cheat to, to feel that you're like staying, staying in a good place? Mm, I think if I eat mostly fruits and vegetables, not seeds and sprouts, an occasional croissant doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. But if I start doing it every day, I can tell my system, the transit time, yeah. the elimination system slows down to right. nothing. Yeah. And then I start feeling bloated yeah. and just ugh, my joints, everything. I get the edema and I'm like, okay, enough's enough. Got to yeah. stop. Yeah. And, and it doesn't take that long to get back on, on right. top of it again. What do you do then to get back on? Do you have some kind of um, food regimen, some kind of food? Some you know, kind of things you like to play around with that you know work, like green juices and stuff like that. Green smoothies are yeah. great. I mean, just really, I do green smoothies with just all greens. Lettuce, kale, sprouts, and water, and blend it. No fruit, no nothing, and just drink it. And if I can do that for a couple days, um, it's fine. I yeah. don't have any hunger. It starts moving everything again. I start feeling really clear-headed again. Yeah, yeah, because that's also a, a, another aspect that, that is huge. I would but I felt a lot when I've been here for these two months with my my head that it just it just clears out more and more. Mm -hmm. The more I I stay on this diet and the I, I'm, like my head is getting more and more clear. Yeah. Thoughts are are so much easier to process, and I I can stay with the thought and the, and the meditation also. Like it's like it's now it's, it's quiet. It's now really it's nice. Quiet. Yeah. Only till you water fast. I think it's even. I, for me, my experience, my, when I'm water fasting, my thoughts, if I have a feeling anywhere, the, the words for it, I mean, I can express myself so clearly and yeah. I want it to last forever. And unfortunately, <laughs> it <doesn't>. no. <laughs> it's like, wow, okay. Yeah. The potential's there, yeah. but I haven't been able to harness it. It's a cool thing. Um, Dr. Lillian, we were speaking a little bit about the Chinese medicine and she says when people are fasting, and or are on a raw diet when she does the needles on them, she got like uh, the instant feedback from the needles and then like instant uh, um, feedback from the body also. That makes so, sense. So yeah, it really does make sense. Yes, it does. Because the body is so clean and it, it just. So we're like yeah. an electrical electrical conduit, you know, like a copper wire when yeah. you're clean. When you're not clean, it's like running electricity through wet cement, you know, yeah, you, cement. You, can't, you can't get through. It's, it's no connection. Yeah. And there's no connection to when your body is so sick, you know, you, you want to disengage your mind. You don't want to feel this body. Yeah, it's miserable. Yeah, that's so true. But at some point, how are you going to repair it unless you acknowledge it? And Absolutely. Get on top of it. Yeah. Do you have some more cool stories about the, the fasting when you're like in the fasts, stuff happening? Uh, thoughts, uh, uh, cravings, things like that. You know, I can tell you some just odd things. I definitely, there's so many different schools of thought on using enemas during fasts. Some doctors say, no, don't do it. Let your body just be natural. Other doctors are like, absolutely help your body, you know, whatever you can to get mo this stuff moving out. Yeah. 
you know, dry skin brushing is good, tongue scraping, oil pulling. I use nausea oil, which is an Ayurvedic therapy. It's an oil that after I do the neti pot, I use oil on yeah. my nose. And, but I totally believed in the, in using um, enemas yeah. when I was fasting and they helped. They just, they helped with the pain. They helped with, I, I didn't feel like I was just drowning in my own waste. Right. Because um, the enema, that's like a, a mini mini colonic, right? Yes, yeah. it is. It's like a mini colonic that yeah. you do yourself. And there's no colon hydrotherapist where I was living, so that wasn't going to happen. Plus, it's expensive. Yeah. So, But even I literally had at somewhere, and I kept journals of all this. I entered um, all of my weird happenings into journals, but cool. I had... Somewhere like 14 days after my fast, I had this bizarre, this bowel movement, yeah. kind of, and it really was from the small intestine. Mm. It was just like rubbery and thin and, yeah. and twisted. Wow. And I'm like, it wasn't like anything you normally would just pass. Yeah. That's the stuff you read about. You read about people that like having rubber coming out of the system. Yes. And I always thought that was because they were drinking bentonite clay Yeah, and drinking all this stuff. And that was making that. But I wasn't do- drinking no. anything but water. I'm like, wow. So when you give yourself enemas, it makes the colon contract and it sends a signal to the small intestine. Yeah. I'm empty. You can dump into me. Yeah. And when the small intestine you haven't eaten, it's empty too, basically. Yeah. But there was stuff in my small Absolutely. intestine. And yeah. so it eventually took 14 days. To but eventually this, this little kinky piece of gunk yeah. came out. And yeah. I was like, wow, how much more of that is in there? Because <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> really, I don't want to do this forever, but I don't want that stuff in me. No, no way. So, so wow, what, what do you think that could be? You know, I think I was, when I was really backed up and con- chronically constipated, I think food was sitting in my, every, in my small intestine, wasn't able to move through the colon. Yeah. And this, I, I don't know why the body, you know, whatever, it was a protective mechanism. It builds up a mucus coating yeah. to protect itself. And no nutrition is getting through. Right. It's, I don't think at that point, if I would have drank wheatgrass, my body was even able to assimilate it because I was so clogged up yeah. and bogged down. Yeah, I can feel the wheatgrass more and more the, the the longer I stay here, and I think that's because like in the in the start when I did the wheatgrass, I wasn't clean enough. Mm-hmm. I had like more work to do. Yeah. But but now that I can really feel the I can really feel the the effects of the wheatgrass immediately, like the bowel movements and the detox processing thing starts and you get this kind of weird energy as well from yeah. the wheatgrass well yeah. uh, i know it i need to be more are you just drinking it once a day sometimes more but it 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 gets to me it's it really starts the detox, detoxification process i have to be careful with it yeah yeah and do you get nauseous at all from it no i just get really like energy drops okay the energy just if it's some energy that's gone with the wheatgrass so wow yeah I wonder what it would be like to just fast with wheatgrass. Yeah. And if there's too much carbohydrate in wheatgrass that you wouldn't go into ketosis. You know, could you go it's into okay. fasting ketosis and still use wheatgrass and only wheatgrass? I, I know there are places that do like big fasting pro- protocols and programs with wheatgrass. And people that uh, are replacing coffee and with uh, with wheatgrass mm-hmm. and also doing much more with, with wheatgrass than with coffee and have better re- results. Yes. They get all the good, all the good effects with, like the coffee does. Yes. And even more good effects with the wheatgrass. So yes. it's just better than coffee. Some yeah. some people say. Yes. And they do bigger programs over long longer period of times also. Mm-hmm. So it sounds like it's. Um, so it's something in it. What are we looking for? You know, it's like, what? <laughs> why are we so driven to keep exploring these yeah, avenues? That's true. I, you know, most people are like, you're healthy. What do you, what do you want? Yes, you're not going to live cool. forever, it's no really matter cool, what you do. It's a really cool question. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, it's like, I, I, it ultimately, it all is a spiritual path because you want to experience I mean, it's so much more than just this body. It is. It's not it, about being having a perfect body. It's uh, you're so right. You're so right. 
Yeah. But it, it's hard to, you know. Yeah, to pin, pinpoint it exactly what it is. Um, no, for for me, I really want to bring something back to, um, yeah, to my friends and all all the, um, all the cool guys in Norway, mm -hmm. to that I really have learned something and uh, if they want to try something new and it's and when you start experimenting with it because that's that's what it is it's you're you're, exper you're experimenting with your own body it's um it's it's different but i found this really cool you know doing all this stuff and, and seeing how i react on it mm -hmm. and things doesn't for me really start to happen before i get really clean before the, the system is clean enough to start fooling around with all this uh, this stuff you know with the wheat mm -hmm. grass and uh, and now also the the em1 which uh, seems mm -hmm. to be re really cool and there's also some powerful stuff that so you're drinking it's a liquid yeah okay i'm gonna try that okay. yeah it's uh, em it's uh, effective microorganisms mm -hmm. and they're they're like a they're like a fertilizer um, but they have really strong uh, healthy bacteria Mm -hmm. And they put things to place uh, in the body. Okay. So, yeah. You know, that is one thing I did not. I wonder if there's carbohydrate in that, if you could use that when you're fasting, or if you could even use it in an enema. I tried as enema. You did? Yeah. Anything? Oh, yes. wow. It was a kind of profound experiment. experience. <laughs> like it, was, it was crazy. It. it was crazy. <laughs> I, I love have it. To, I have to bring it back to Norway for my friends to try it because that, that was, it was insane. It was like a trip almost oh no. yeah i'm definitely going to do this tomorrow <laughs> oh boy it's not open today is it no, no. i don't think so but we uh, i used the one in the in the garden from the from the big uh, from the big barrel you did i just used that one yeah the other one is too expensive i think the food i don't yeah. use the food grade yeah that doesn't make any sense really not for not for that <laughs> end this end yes yeah. No, that that was that was cool and also with the wheatgrass uh, if i take it uh, if i take it both ways as an enema and i uh -huh. drink it before i go to bed and i've i've tried to be pretty clean when i go to bed not have eaten so close to bedtime yeah. that also gives like really like heavy experiences like you if you feel like you're just floating in a in a big pool of wheatgrass and it just works your body and I, and i can really feel it works my shoulder like it's like really working my shoulder mm -hmm. and i do that yeah it is interesting <laughs> it is so it's, it's pure it's, experience yes and the ex experimenting with uh, with the body mm -hmm. I, I think it's cool i really like it mm -hmm. so you're just going to keep on going i mean really I it's hope, an I evolution so. physically spiritually yeah, yeah. emotionally right to the very end Absolutely. yeah and yeah. then beyond we don't know we don't know mm -mm. <laughs> That's, yeah, we don't know. Shall we stop there and do one more later? Sure. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Oh, uh, good. Great. All right. All right, good. All your friends in Norway. Yeah. See okay, see you guys. Bye-bye.